Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Welcome back to the main scenario quest. Uh, I took a little break. I uh, had other stuff to do. I had, you know, the 24-man and stuff to do with my uh, company. And we've just... I've just had found time the next day to uh, get this done, to get the story done. Which is pretty good because now there's less people doing it. There's still a couple, but it's less. You see there's some HUD changes and stuff like that. Uh, I'll explain if any changes are worth noting along the way. Uh, right, what do we got here? The Butcher's Blood from Avalad. And we get the measure of our reach. Orchestrian roll, lovely. And of course, 1,100 big ones. All jesting aside, we must tell people the good news. I think least should be the first. Sec seconded. Where is the meeting of <laughs> representatives from across Alamigo? So sh she is sure to be in the city. Shall we seek her out? Sure. Let's seek her out. I mean, I guess we've done the fillery shit now. Well, alright, I guess it really wasn't that fillery. Like, it just felt fillery the way, um... The way it was like, oh, we should go back to our roots. We should go adventuring. Oh, we've stumbled upon treasure. It's like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's there, uh, Is there? Ah, oh, there's Lise. Yo, Lise. Sup. Very good. It's very dark and rainy in Alamigo right now, which is not the best. So, you should have like an overcoat on or something. You can kind of get cold. Oh, you free look pleased with yourselves? What have you been up to? I'm glad you asked, Lise. And I'm pretty sure you're going to like the answer. We went dealing into your history about the city and we've discovered a long lost treasure. Of a mad king. You're joking. The Mad King's Trove? I thought it was a myth. So did plenty of people. But they didn't have Strife and Alphanard here in their party, did they? No. The credit for finding it should really go for them. As what I what I did, I didn't really do fuck all, really. I kind of just... I defended the elf a little bit on the way. Uh, Strife beat us to the treasure because he's so much better and handsome and much more protag than I. Uh, but... We did find it, so that's that. Gods, is there as much as you say? Uh, Avad did not exaggerate, I assure you. We would not hope to carry even a fraction of it out of our, on our own. I have taken the liberty of sketching out a rough map of the ruins. Sweet. We're going to get all that treasure. Understood. I'll make sure every coin is accounted for, and it goes for spending of as well. Thank you. No, wait. Uh, it's my money. <laughs> Not giving it to fucking Alamigo. <laughs> Fuck. they've, they've threw me out of the street. I had to leave. It's my money. Oh, there's one more thing. When the time comes to draw up a plan for distributing the spoils, I would ask that you consult Alphanod. I don't have a head for details. I'm not educated. I see as uh, simply handing out sacks of gill won't solve anything, but it couldn't rightfully tell you what to do instead. Oh, I know the feeling. I'd welcome any advice you could give yourself or not. Of course, I shall be at your disposal. Oh, who? Resistance fighter. Commander, we've got a problem. There you go, that's a good voice for him. Deep breaths. Tell me what happened. Uh, a mob is gathered outside the headquarters. They started making demands. You best come see for yourself. Huh? Demands. Off we go. What are they mobbing for? And is it going to be like three dudes? Oh no, it's a couple of dudes. Oh yeah, Monago. You tell him. We will. We know who you've got in there. Who? We're not leaving till you hand her over. All right, you you need to quit the quit smoking, love. Bring her out. Bring her out. Who are you talking about? Sup? What's going on? 
Someone let slip about Fedora. Oh, Fedora. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's true then. The bitch really is in there. I knew it. I bloody knew it. No, no. Why do you call her a bitch? That's rude. It's a bit rude. We demand vengeance. Bring her out. Today we butcher the butcher. F not with that fucking attitude, tattooed troublemaker. If that is indeed your you real name. Mean that. We'd be no better than the Imperials if you'd all just calm down. But my voice acting at least was right on the point, by the way. My dad, that bitch has spilt enough blood to fill a lock. We all know her crimes. She's a traitor and a murderer. How many of your resistance friends have died at her hands, eh? I don't and know. I wouldn't call her a traitor. Honestly, I wouldn't call her a traitor. She was doing what she had to survive and what she so thought was best for Amigo in the long run. Yeah, Ruban. Got a, got a new arm yet? Harken to me. Brothers and sisters of Alamigo. Hey, who's Shit. this? That. It's the bull of Alamigo, my dude. My friends, you are not alone in your anger, your grief, your despair. For it is mine as well. That gnawing pain in your breast. It is enough to bring an old bull to his knees. But I ask you, brothers and sisters, to think not only of the family and friends who were cut down before your very eyes. Where were they taken? What became of them? These questions demand answers. I share your thirst for justice, for vengeance. But we will gain only fleeting satisfaction if we give in to our base appetites. We will never know the truth. Why is Ruban's sword on that side? I don't mean to sound insensitive, but that's that seems anti-intuitive. That doesn't it seems like that would be really awkward to like draw. Now is the time that we, the people of Alamigo, must decide what manner of nation we will build for ourselves and for generations yet unborn. When they look to our example. Will they see a people who held fast to their principles? Or one who cast them aside when... I say to you, it is our responsibility to give these prisoners a fair trial that they might answer to all of Alamigo. The Galleons called us savages, and I'll be damned if we prove them right. Oh, look, that guy's like, yeah, that's good. Oh, look, they're all clapping now. Why are you all clapping? You were just about... Oh, okay, I he's not. You're right. I do, but I can't. Get the fuck out of my face. Punch him. <laughs> I mean, we could just put him in the cell next to her, next to him, her, if you like, and then you know whatever happens happens, right? Guarantee if Fedora fucking wreck, fucking mops the floor with him, <laughs> just completely decimates him. Speak with least completed. Oh, good. I'm glad we completed our objective of speaking the least. Oh, good. The rain stopped. Oh, the sun's come out. That's beautiful. Yo, lease. You can voice act this one too. My thanks, Ruban. Listening to their anger, I could feel myself being swept away. Tis a difficult tide to stem. Twas the same rage brought to us at our own feet and carried us to victory. But now that the war is over, it is all is unset, unspent fury. It is being created into vengeance. Aye. There is, no, is not just here. We hear reports of mobs forming all over. We've been triggering folk, targeting folk even, sorry, not triggering them. Although I guess, well, that remains to be seen. We've been targeting folk known for who have corrupted with conspired with the Guardians. It starts with insults, more often not, 
someone picks up a stone. Oh no. Some industrious souls even fought to seek out the graves of Xenos and his officers and uh, it was uh, it was bad. It was pretty bad. A lot of piss. It was all over the place. It's fucked up. I see. To build a community, to build a country where everyone regardless of race and origin can live side by side in peace. But maybe the time isn't right. Maybe people just aren't ready. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. The representatives will be here soon. And I'll be damned if I'm going to pick up before I even begin. Who are these representatives exactly? Oh, uh, village elders, leaders, and, and, and the like. That wouldn't be right for us to dictate our nation's future on our own. So we plan a summit of sorts. We even invented the Athena. And you know, you invited the Athena and the Quagrin Quagr to participate. The Quagrin? The rap people? I mean, I'm a massive fan of Freya, right? And I really want like rat race because that'd be fucking badass. These rat people, these these ones are feral. These ones are like foaming at the mouth and like trying to eat us. Like not, not too long ago. There must be like a race of them that are not fucked up. I guess. And Amigo stands at a crossroads, and this meeting will decide which path it takes. No matter for Dolor's sentence, cannot be suffered to disrupt the process. Proceedings, even probably. Then let us execute her and be done with it. She herself has asked to be put to death. Nagato. Nagato? <laughs> it's, a... it's not Naruto. Nago. I already explained why we wouldn't do that. Sending her to the gallows must satisfy the people right now, but where would it end? Should we round up every co collaborator and everyone who didn't who didn't resist? There'd be no one left. Begging your pardon, but uh. Might be allowed to speak with Fedora. Only I caught a glimpse of her past, uh, a moment of it anyway, during the fight. Oh, yeah, he has the echo as well, doesn't he? She's done terrible things, aye, unforgivable things. But in some ways, she's a victim of the circumstances in which she was born, and that's something I can understand. Alright, speak with the prison guard when you're ready, and I'll come join you. I want to talk to her too. I'll return to my other duties, then. We've barely begun to invest, investigate the facility where, where we gave Fredola's her powers. Oh yeah, shit, yeah, that's where the uh, little Lala girl was held as well. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, oh, shit, it's right there, it's on the tip of my tongue. Whenever I put myself on, a, on the spot, I can't quite nail the names. Uh, oh look, quest complete. That was a nice easy one, wasn't it? You're a commander's permission then, and then? Yeah, I got the permission. Don't tell the others though, because they all get upset. This is awkward, Fedora. We've put the same top on. That's real awkward. Different colours though, so at least there's that. Well, well, well. So many visitors. Come to have a good laugh, have you? Or do you mean to put me out of my misery? To finish what you started? It's about bloody time. That's not why we're here, no. Do you remember what I said? How I promised you you'd live long enough to see us win our freedom. 
Well, I meant it. And not to mock you either. You're wasting your time. All of this is pointless. There's no reason to keep me alive, and you know it. I killed your men. I killed my men. And you know what my only regret is? That I didn't kill you when I had the chance. That's, that's, that's a lie, and you know it. Oh shit. You think we can't tell what you're trying to do? That we're blind? About being, uh, well. Cruel, but you're not stupid. You're ruthless. Relentless. You give up anything and everything to get what you want. You didn't come this far, climbing over the bodies of your own brothers and sisters just to piss it all away. I see you, Fedora. I see you for what you are. Oh shit, I'm freaking out. I'm vibing. I'm getting the vibe that there's a long loading screen. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's all fuzzy though. Oh. It's it's the baby version. She says she still has a sword though. Come along, Fadola. We mustn't be late. The Imperial Viceroy will be attending today's banquet. Oh shit. Fadola's mother looks like one of my FC mates. <laughs> Same gear and everything. That's funny. Father, what's your guys like? Is he nice? Are you friends? There you go again with all your questions. Lord Gaius is a great and honourable man who looks after all of Alamigo. He's very busy, and if we don't hurry, we'll miss our chance to see him. Oh, Gaius, I do miss thy. Filthy tin of bubbers. Oh, I thought she was going to have a real, like, Batman thing then. Father, what did that man call us? The little tin-head lover doesn't know what she is, eh? A traitor, sweetheart. A backstabbing bitch who'd gladly betray her kith and kin to gnaw on what few scraps the Imperials deign to toss her. Wow! Bastard father and whore mother. What a fucking asshole! Jesus! That's not true! My parents are good people! They've never done anything like that! You're making her cry now. Oh, that's real mean. Oh, but they were quick to help themselves and their bitch spawn, weren't they? You're just as guilty as them. Oh, dude, fucking kill him. I would. Oh, I may not kill him. Punch him. Oh, someone threw a rocket now. Oh, that's mean. Oh, there's an old woman. Don't worry. She... Traitors! Please! You have to do something! My husband and daughter are in danger! Soldiers of the Imperial Army are under no obligation to intervene in the disputes of arms. <laughs> that guy behind him was like, what the fuck? I'm scared. It's all right. It's all right. They don't understand, but they'll see in time. They'll see that this is the only way to survive. Traitors! With an attitude like that, no wonder she grew up to like Traitors! fucking slaughter them. Or to be okay with slaughtering them. Oh, that's a big rock. Oh. Throw rock. 
It does one damage. That was a big rock. Let oh, the savages have their fun. They'll be more compliant once they've tired themselves out. Oh, that guy, that guy thinks that's the sucky. That's a good galleon. So he didn't see him as savages, he just saw it as a as a young girl and a dad getting his head kicked in, which is real unfortunate. Do you know what I'm saying? All of her backstory? Jesus, this is convenient. Badola, please. You already have citizenship. Why would you want to become a soldier? Gotten it already, have you? I'm honoring father's memory. By telling the world that you know better than a common savage. Am I wrong, mother? Are any of us? Can't you see? Citizenship means nothing to them. If you're not a pure blood Galleon, you're no different from any other savage. So I'll play the part. I'll join the Legion and I'll make them respect me. And when the mob see that, they'll think twice before throwing their stones. Ansfrid, Rudolf, Emlyn. It's time. You got yourself a light pie. Hard. Humiliating. They'll try to break us, send us crawling back to our own kind. No matter what, we'll bleed for them, die for them if we have to. We'll do whatever it takes to be free! I don't know which one is meant to be the tank. I mean, I guess Fedora is a, uh... Uh, a, a gladiator, so I guess she'd be the tank, but she's not, not wearing gladiator gear. Just saying. <laughs> it does make her look like a teenager, though, rather than a, uh, a full blown adult when she's then. She's wearing, like, less gear, you know? Oh, dear. Jeez. Sorry about that. You, how long have you guys been talking? So. You mean to play the part one last time, eh? The unrepentant traitor whose death will serve to unite the people? Shut up. You had every chance to kill yourself. Fashion a noose from your clothes. Wait for the guards to leave you alone long enough to slip it over your neck. I said shut up! Oh, but then it would have all been for nothing, wouldn't it? Whatever it takes. That's what you said. Been in my head, have you? Had a little peek at my past. Well, I didn't mean to. It's not something I can really control. I just kind of like have a little bit of a freak out and like see okay. the past. A few stolen memories tell you everything you need to know, do they? Well, no. I mean, saw so the probably the main don't reasons you why you become a bit of a, like me. a meanie pants. You don't know. A god's damn thing about the life I've led. The bastards that killed him. The bastards that let it happen. My father deserved better. I swore I'd do whatever it took to make them pay. Got the echo too. Oh shit, he's, she's seeing my past. Yeah, I've done a bunch. I've been through a few scenarios. Too 
much. Too much for anyone. The things they've done to you. The lies. The betrayal. The endless fighting. Yet there you stand. Unbroken. Gil, I make a lot of money. How? Why? Do I get a choice to answer? Oh, I do. You know why you saw. For those I have lost, for those I have yet, I can yet save. Because I choose to. Oh, that's that's that, that's like the uh, that is the like, the pro tag answer. Let's let's go with that one. Damn you! Damn you all! You still have time, Cordola. Think about how you want to spend it. Let's go. Can we take her? She'd be a scion. That'd be really messed up, wouldn't it? Like, law wise, that'd be messed up. She's cool though, I like her. I think she's a cool character. She's much more interesting than a lot of the rest of the cast, quite frankly. It's definitely one of the more interesting ones. The Butcher's Blood. We got ourselves a lovely little song as well. Quest complete. That was a long one. That was a real long quest. That was like 25 minutes worth of quest. That was big. It was big and it had a lot of dialogue and it had a lot of things and it had a lot of stuff. Let's get our new quest first before we head off, shall we? Let's have a little look. Echoes of an Echo. Wow, Echo Reception. And we get 900 big ones, basically. I don't know... I don't know that we've solved anything exactly. But we've, but we've given Fedora something to think about, at least. Oi. I found something new to think about, too. I don't know about you, Shrife, but the visions only came to me every now and then. From the way Fedora kept winching through, I get the feeling she's having them almost all the time. There's a lot of bad memories to deal with. Uh-huh. Huh. I wonder, could there, could there have been some fundamental difference between one who is born with the Echo and one who has been artificially imbued with it? Well, the Immortal Flames have been scouting their research facility ever since the Liberation. There's a chance they might have found some answers for us. General Adlin is there overseeing the investigation. Let's go pay him a visit, shall we? Sure. We'll go pay him a visit next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I thought I could actually knock out all of the quests uh, in this one video, but that was one quest and we got 28 so my plan may have to change a little bit but that's okay we'll do as many episodes as it takes for us to get through these quests because they're actually getting interesting thank you so much for watching as always leave a like and a comment down below and i'll see you all next time bye bye